If you want to be able to program your Arduino from Ubuntu in a virtual machine with VirtualBox, well, things will not just work like that. You have just two or three steps of configuration you need to do before it is working. And that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. So the very first step you need is, well, here I'm on Windows. So on your main host, which can be uh, Windows or anything else, you will make sure that so you will install the Arduino IDE and you will make sure that from your main host, you can actually connect to your Arduino and upload a program to it. So here I have an Arduino Uno, but you can have any other board. And I can see my Arduino, which is here, COM4, on Windows. This is important because it means you have the correct drivers for Arduino. And now I'm going to VirtualBox. So this is the VirtualBox manager where I have my virtual machines here. And I'm going to use Ubuntu 20.04. But before I actually launch it, I will go to settings for this virtual machine. And in USB, in USB, you will click on this plus button right here. And you will see Arduino. Okay. If you don't see that, it means you don't have the Arduino drivers on your computer. So in this case, go back to the previous step and install the Arduino IDE and make it work. So I'm going to click here. I have a new line here and I click on OK. And now I can start the virtual machine. So a very quick test to make sure that the Arduino can be found from your virtual machine here. You can open a new terminal. So of course, make sure that your Arduino is plugged to your computer. And you can do ls slash dev slash tty and press tab twice. Okay. Well, you have a bunch of stuff here. But what's important here, as you can see, I have tty acm0. You may have something similar, or maybe TTY USB 0, or USB 1, ACM 1, etc. And I'm just going to now remove the Arduino. So I'm removing the USB cable, and I'm pressing Tab again. As you can see, the ACM 0 has disappeared. And now I'm plugging it again and pressing Tab, and I have TTY ACM0. So it means that I guess this is probably the Arduino and it is working. Okay, now that the configuration is down, we can install the Arduino IDE. And in fact, it will be much simpler to do that from the terminal. You can simply type sudo snap install Arduino. And that's it. You put your password. Okay, so it can take a few seconds or just one or two minutes. And when it is down, what you can do is simply start Arduino by tapping Arduino in the terminal or simply by going here and typing Arduino IDE. This is the same. And the first time you will start, Arduino IDE, you will see that warning or kind of depending on your Arduino IDE version, you will see warning like that. What you need to do actually is to execute that in a terminal. Because if you don't do that, the Arduino IDE won't be able to operate programs because of permission issues. So you click on OK. And actually, I'm going to close it and paste the line here. OK, and now a very important thing to do is to reboot your virtual machine. So I'm going to do sudo reboot. OK, and now you can start the Arduino IDE again. And go on Tools here, board Arduino Uno, so you choose whatever board type you have, and port, and as you can see, I have here 
slash dev slash tty acm0. So I'm going to select it. I can take the blink led example here. Okay, it is selected and now I can upload to the Arduino. Great, so now you can use your Arduino board from Ubuntu inside a virtual machine. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses to learn Arduino step by step by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.